Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Hello. Good morning, Lieutenant Colonel Elizabeth Evans and Staff Sergeant Ruth Navarro. Thank you and so much, and welcome to the Balder Beebe Show, broadcasting live in Dallas, Texas. How are you guys today? Wonderful. Thank you. Doing well, thank you. I'm so glad you're here to talk about March is Women History Month. That's a reminder to my listening audience. But we're going to talk a little bit more specifically how roles in the military have evolved while women work to balance their professional and their personal lives. And if I could start with you, Lieutenant Colonel Evans, I'm not sure if you had the longest tenure, but you have uh, uh, maybe a little more responsibility. So let's get started with you. Tell me how you've seen the roles of women evolve in the military. You know, it's interesting. Uh, I joined in 1996, went to West Point, was one of approximately 150 women um, that graduated in 2000. You know, joined the Corps of Engineers, where at that time in 2000, there were some uh, strict limitations in certain areas that women could and could not serve. Uh, you could not serve directly as a combat engineer. Uh, you could only serve in construction or, or engineering support. And what I've seen through the last 20 years since I commissioned is a complete change in that opportunity. So within the last decade, Every single one of the engineer specialties, every single one of the direct combat specialties has all opened to women. So now it's not which ones can I not serve in, it's which one will I choose to serve in. Sergeant Ruth Navarro, have you seen changes in that aspect from your viewpoint? I have. I joined back in 2006, and when I enlisted, the combat specialties were not uh, available to female soldiers. Uh, today, the, if you want, choose to serve in a capacity of a combat um, specialty, you're able to do that. Colonel Evans, how do you make this work? How do you have a female, and I'm going to say, excuse me for saying that, like, how do you have a female-driven life personally and have this hardcore, almost male kind of life? How do you balance it? You know, it's funny, my, my friends say, we don't want to see Army Elizabeth, we want to see regular Elizabeth. <laughs> so it's, a, it's definitely a different level of intensity. It's a different level of focus. Um, there are activities that I enjoy that, you know, have nothing to do with gender. You know, I love to run, I love to play golf. Um, but I also like to get dressed up and, and have a night out, you know, with friends and family. So. You know, it's, it's not necessarily that you have to be that rigid, uniformed person all the time, and that transcends gender lines. Uh, there's different things that, you know, friends of mine that are guys like to do that aren't necessarily hardcore. Um, so I would say it, it's not as difficult as you might think. Sergeant Navarro, when you uh, have this, this prestigious role of being a sergeant in the military, uh, I don't know if you're dating or married, but how do you balance it? So I actually am married. I'm actually married to another service member, and I do have two children. So uh, the Army has taught me so many skills uh, to be able to balance it, the first one being time management and uh, self-discipline for sure. Lieutenant Evans, you've got the balance thing down. Do women make different kind of decisions in their job than men? And what I mean by that, and I, I'll take an extreme case where we have sexual harassment in the military and in corporate America, do you have more of an affinity to understand from the women's point of view? You know, or do you just you do your job? I, I appreciate the question. Unfortunately, uh, we're out of time, so thank you for the opportunity today. Okay, thank you, ladies. I really appreciate it. Thanks for being on the Valder BB Show. Thank you so yes, much. Yes, ma'am. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. 
I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.